Live from RFK Stadium in Washington, D.C., a battle for second place in the Eastern Conference as D.C. United hosts Sporting Kansas City. The role of Benny Philharbor continues to be critical for this club. A good balance of defensive duties, along with a lot of freedom for Paulo Nagamora and Alex Martinez. Bobby Boswell has been a huge factor for this club as well. They need an experience, and that's exactly what he has given this DC United team. And uh, DC United, 5 4 and 3, 4 1 and 2 at home so far this season. We're underway. It's MLS Live on SKC TV. Good balance there by Sporting KC. Jensen goes to ground looking for a free kick, but DC United will play on here. The Spindler against Kevin Ellis here. The Spindler, lovely ball in, and the header is decent. That's straight down the throat of Merrick Kronberg, and you have to say Diego either side of Kronberg, and that's 1-0 to DC. Absolutely. Just one goal in ten so far for Eddie Johnson. Got the contract he wanted after leaving Seattle Sounders in the off-season, now a designated player for DC United with his delivery so far. De Leon slips it through for Eddie Johnson. Chance here, Eddie Johnson! And it's a wonderful save from Eric Kronberg. A combination of Kronberg and Palmer Brown denying Johnson. And it was actually Eric Palmer Brown who reads the run, sticks with him the whole time. He can't keep up with Eddie's pace, but look at him. Crucial sliding tackle there, blocking that shot. Statistically might be very, very good. But some opportunities to look and get some good look at looks at goal but as a whole for sporting kansas city it's a, such an unpredictable factor sinovic pushing forward here danger sinovic will try and fire it across and it does go in no it doesn't i beg your pardon for a moment it seemed as though it had hit the back of the net it hit the other side of the netting and it goes behind for a corner you see the white play, Sinovic coming in. Does a good job getting on his left foot. Created enough space and dumped wire. Good near post run. Definitely seemed like the ball had been gone into the back of the net. It's actually the side netting, but good opportunity by Sporting KC here. So attacking left back. It's been very, very consistent for DC United so far this year. Here he is again down the left. Lovely ball in looking for Johnson. A Spindler's at the back post as well. Sinovic glancing it away. A Spindler. Lovely ball played in. It causes a problem for Eric Kronberg. <laughs> for Sporting KC. Goal number seven of the season for Fabian Spindler. Cue delirium in DC. Originally, you see Sporting KC deal okay with that cross. The second, though, the second cross, Kronberg perhaps anticipating that ball coming short. Takes a couple of steps forward. And the ball continues to travel over his head. I think Kronberg surprised to see that ball coming so quickly. And Spindola trying to cross the ball finds himself on the scoreboard. Palmer Brown. Footballing centre half, isn't it? Very comfortable. It's hard to believe he's only 17. Martinez keeping the move alive here. Jacob Peterson, low ball in just behind Sinovic, but arriving is Dom Dwyer. Takes a deflection, a kindly deflection into the grasp of Bill Hamid. Kindly to say the least. What a good sequence. Getting the ball out wide. Jacob Peterson, look at Dom Dwyer's run. Just delays it, reads the ball. And it's actually Jeff Park who's on the ground. That ends up deflecting and slowing the ball down enough for Hamid to basically calmly pick it up. Dwyer quick to charge down the situation as always. Oh no, away from Benny Failhaber. Just to get through opportunity here for Fabian Spindler. And it's a really solid stern save from Eric Kronberg. No wonder the pressure and under the situation did ever so well. Kronberg coming off his line. You asked before. Bali. Daviano there to stick out a leg, and it's a challenge from Antonio Davali, which the referee sees legal. A late challenge there from Daviano to stop the play and stop Kansas City moving forward, but they get themselves underway quickly. 
Good attitude there. Played the ball quickly. There goes Julio here for Sporting, and he just drives it over the bar. Not perhaps what he meant to do. And in the end, it's a chance that goes beckoning for Sporting KC. I actually do think that that's what he meant to do. He tried to get that effort on goal, trying to search for the near post, and why not? I think the more that you shoot, if there's anything that KC hasn't done, Sporting KC hasn't done so far in this game, is perhaps shot from distance. Here's Fernandez. Forward here for a Spindola. Palmer Brown covering well. He goes down under a challenge. Now this is a Spindola here. Spindola shoots! And took a nick on the way through off the palm of Eric Kronberg. And there may be even more problems for sports in Kansas City as Eric Palmer Brown is now down. El Haber. All bodies pushing forward. Ellis, oh, it's a late challenge. That's got to be a booking at least, if not a red card. Ellis has stayed down, it's a red card. Kevin Ellis has stayed down. It's a late challenge. Well, Alex Kasky has only been in the game a few minutes. There's Clumsy no, challenge. No argument about that one whatsoever. Look at that one. He's actually going for the foot. He's not even involved on the play. Kevin Ellis coming in, making contact with the ball with his right foot, but Caskey's actually making contact with the other foot. No argument on his part. The fans are on their feet here. The final whistle goes. Winless in five now for Sporting Kansas City. But for Ben Olsen's men, it's back to winning ways here at RFK Stadium.